The Guildhall Market at the heart of Bath City Centre is one of the country's last traditional markets located on a high street. With its long history and ideal location, it has become a vital part of the local community. The market has been a home for a range of different traders for over 800 years. To this day, people come to shop inside the market, experience the unique stalls and soak up the history of the building. Head coordinators Mike and Wendy have been working at the market for 18 years and believe in the strength of the shopping experience they provide for their customers. Shopping is an experience and, and, and should be a very positive experience. It's the interaction uh, between the, uh, the retailer and the customer should be a pleasant, interesting experience. What sets the market aside from everything else is the fact that it's still very traditional. It's, it's got appeal to both locals and to visitors. In 1861, the building that currently still houses the market was constructed. Prior to this, it had been an open-air market and held an incredible 438 stalls. Of course, we get lots of visitors come to the market. They're drawn to see the um, nail, which is right here by the sweet shop. It was called the Market Pillar. It dates back to medieval times when the, this Market Pillar stood here. The reason it's called the nail, which is quite interesting for visitors, is that in, in, in medieval times, and certainly right up till Victorian times, when the farmers or the produce came to the market for the market traders, all the transactions would be conducted on this market pillar. And until people had paid for their goods, then they couldn't have the goods. So this became known as paying on the nail. And this expression is now very much in the vocabulary of, um, of Britain, paying on the nail. And this is where it all started. Over the years, historically, the local authorities in different places have moved the markets out to other positions and developed these, these beautiful old buildings into student accommodation or, you know, turned them into high-end shops or offices or whatever. But this particular one has the protection of a royal charter, which was not given to uh, this building and the traders in it by the local authorities it was it, uh, actually came about from our abbey so there is nothing that they, they can't change it it's not part of their legislation it has the protection of the abbey so this has to be a market until there's no one trading in here it always has to remain a market so we're very protected like that and thank goodness because it's prime real estate and we would have been, you know, in a Sainsbury's car park, you know, on a Tuesday once a week by now, if it wasn't like that, if we didn't have that protection. The loyal local customers who have been shopping at the market for decades still have a connection to the place to this day. It's got a lot of different um, stalls that um, under one roof and I sew, so I come here for my cottons, my ribbons, um, all make my jewellery, all sorts of things. Uh, I'd say I've been coming here for 30 years, which is most of my life. Uh, my parents brought me in and then I continue to come in, buy things from here, have coffee here, have my hair cut, so yeah, many years. Um, it's been a really good place for independent shops to grow and stay and keep Bath uh, what it's supposed to be. Many of the shops in the market are family-run businesses and some have been passed down from one generation to the next. One example of this is M&K Hardware Store. I have been here for like 34 years and um, my children have grown up in the business. We all work as a good team together. In the long run, obviously, it's been, it's been good growing up, um, learning, you know, to be a part of the business, sort of education you don't get at school. Um, now having grown up involved in it, um, you know, I'd like to see my kids in the future become part of the, you know, the whole market and the shop and everything as well. Currently passed down to its third generation is Stephen's second-hand bookshop, Scoobs. This is also the oldest business in the market, which has been held in his family for over 80 years. So I came here, it was my mother's business at the time. Came here for six months. I've been here now 20 years. 
um, I quite like it. It's nice being your own boss and um, yeah, not having the stress that you have with a lot of modern jobs and the jobs I used to have. So Most of the people are, are independent traders here, so there's no one telling us what we actually need to do. We need to come up with our own ideas, but that's good. We have no sales targets, only on our own minds, so there's no, not that pressure there, but there's a the pressure of always trying to find new customers and keep the uh, existing ones happy. It's good to have that diversity of customers that we have here. Uh, I think that makes the place special, keeps our businesses all going where a lot of high streets and retail are perhaps struggling at the moment. The traders have noticed a drop in customer footfall and sales since the digital age of online shopping and supermarkets. Businesses are really struggling and you can see that by all the massive shops that are shutting, chain shops that are, that are closing down, that are going bust. And that's all to do with the internet. So these little tiny businesses, you know, need uh, local people and visitors alike to, to keep them surviving. Over the recent years, there has been an increase in the number of people shopping online. This has caused a decrease in the number of people shopping in their local markets and independent shops. I've been here 23 years and I'd like to stay a few more years till I retire, so hopefully it'll still keep going. It's just, we used to have loads and loads of customers and now eBay's come along, the internet's come along and we've just lost them. We've been through a couple of recessions where we nearly went under and that's why we opened the hardware shop, because all the other hardware shops in Bath had closed and there was nowhere to get anything for locals. So we went to the council and asked if we could open this shop. And they were really pleased because it is a local need shop. However, more recently, they are finding despite the larger department stores going down, trading has picked up again as customers realise the value of a personal shopping experience. I think people come to us particularly because we provide a service which people don't get in sort of uh, B&Q and places like that. So that's why we get repeat customers, because they come, they can talk to us, ask us questions, which doesn't tend to happen in the bigger chains. But what we can provide here and in the market generally is a service. Um, but you do find people come in, ask questions, and you know they're going to go and shop online. So it is uh, exploited a little bit, but it tends to be like, especially the older generation, uh, tends to come in a lot more regularly and need the help. Um, but it has changed, um, has changed how people shop massively. With books in particular, there's a whole Kindle and e-book problem. I think a few years ago, everyone thought that was the new thing and, and books would die. Um, and I think there's a realisation that actually e-books, although good for certain situations, you don't get that kind of connection you do with a real book. And people are coming back to real books and really enjoying it. For me, January, February is always the quietest months of the year. Then comes Easter, it gets back to normal uh, until November, and soon as the Christmas market starts here, which is end of November, it's non-stop until Christmas Eve. We hope that the uh, online business, which is killing retail all over the globe, will not affect our market. I mean, it's a bit of a hope, but I believe that with the personal service that we um, offer, it will continue for many years to come. Being a traditional part of the rich history of Bath, the market captures the soul and community spirit of the city. Having worked under the same roof for many years, the traders have become a close-knit community among themselves, helping each other when needed. And there's not one day that I don't want to come into work, even when it's snowing. I just love it. The staff are amazing, we all work as a good team together. It's a bit like a second home for me, really. The communal feel, we have a good laugh, and even in really quiet days, like in January and February when it's a bit dead, there's always someone to be able to sit and have a cup of coffee with and have a laugh with, and that's really good. It's got soul, this market, and the people that trade within it you know, help to give it that soul. It's colourful, it's fun, it's interesting, it's unique. It's not just a job, it's a way of life. <laughs>